Hello everyone, welcome back to Unified Oski. Your success is what gives us joy. I want to say big congratulations to all Oski passes. Keep going higher. In today's video, I'd like to take us through one of the new added skills as requested by some of the candidates, and that is naso pharyngeal suctioning. You have eight minutes to demonstrate competence as regards the station, and you are most likely asked to start with assuming all checks have been done. How do we go about it? Let's get started. Assuming all checks have been done, this includes safety check, identity check, comfort check, as well as gaining my patient consent, I will go ahead to do my hand hygiene. I apply an ampoule of gel and I rub my hand palm to palm, palm over back of hand, vice versa, palm to palm with fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, vice versa, rotational rubbing of the tongue, rotational rubbing of the tongue, my fingertips and palm, fingertips and palm, my wrist in rotational manner, my wrist in rotational manner, allow my hands to dry for 30 seconds, I will go ahead to get my materials. So when I get to setting my materials, I will quickly do my hand hygiene again, following all the steps. I will confirm my tray has been cleaned with soap and water within 24 hours. I can still go ahead to use the cleaning wipes, validating its in date is not expired. I will put a glove, clean my tray in zigzag manner, discard whatever I've um, discard the cleaning wipes in the clinical waste, take another one, clean the backside in an S shaped manner, discard. Then I'm, I'm going to remove the glove I've used for cleaning. Do my hand hygiene again. Following all the steps. So now I'm going to get my materials ready. I'm going to put on my apron. We need a standard PPE for this procedure. No, that's so pharyngeal suctioning is considered to have possibility of producing some level of aerosol. So we have to use a standard PPE for this procedure. We need a goggle or face shield, but I won't be putting this for now, bear with me, but just have it in mind that you need this. I need a mask validating its in date is not expired as well. I can put this one. I need two suction catheter, size 10 and size 12. Um, looking at the expiry date, it's going to expire 2025. I'm happy to use it. It has a sterile marking. It has a sign of single use so it's a single use non-reusable not to be reusable so i have size 10 and 12 with me the suction tube it, it's there are two possibilities it might be mounted already on your suction apparatus or you need to take it along if you need to take it along i have my suction tube here it's sterile it's in date it's not expired i'm happy to use it I need a small basin to keep my irrigation. So I have my irrigation here with a kidney tray, a sterile one. Okay. And I need a pair of gloves. I'll just keep it and I'll take all those materials and I will go back to my patient. Getting back to my patient's side, I'm going to do my hand hygiene again, following all the steps. I'm going to relate with Harry with the mindset that I've met with him before. Hello. Hi, nurse. I'm back, like I said earlier. Yeah, just to remind you, my name is Zadebola. 
Yeah, but I would just like you to remind me your name again, please, if you don't mind. Can you just tell me your full name and date of birth as I cross check with my documents and your ID then? Is that okay? Yes, nurse. My name is Harry Johnson. Oh, wonderful. And my date of birth is the 1st of January, 1970. Perfect. And I'm actually checking the documents and checking the ID band. Make sure your action goes with what you say as regards that. I'm happy, love. And is it okay to call you? What, what would you love to be called? Harry's fine. Okay, wonderful. Harry, like I told you earlier, I'm here to do the sanctioning of your airway and this will help you to breathe with ease. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. It will help to remove the secretions, it will improve your gas exchange and you'll be able to breathe with ease. This procedure might be a little bit uncomfortable. I'm sorry about that. But I'll just need us, I'll be careful, I'll be gentle. And I need us to agree on a sign language. If you are in distress at any point, is it okay to just raise your hand and I will know I need to stop. Is that okay with you? Yeah, I'll do that, nurse. Wonderful. Harry, I will need you to do a quick sniff test for me. And what you need to do is you block one of your nostrils and blow with the other one. And you repeat the same process for the other nostril. Can you do that for me, please? Wonderful. You've passed the sniff test. Your nasal airway are not blocked. Okay, Harry. I'm going to... I would like you to sit in a semi-upright position. Is that okay with you, love? Yes, no. And if you need help, I can always assist you to sit in an upright position. I will ensure I support your head with a pillow. I will support your head with a pillow to prevent your head from tilting backward or forward. Is that okay with you? Yes, nurse. And I've done that. Are you comfortable, Harry? Yes, nurse. Okay, wonderful. I will quickly do my hand hygiene again, following all the steps. I'm going to put on the suction apparatus. Before I go ahead, I will do an assessment on Harry, making sure the respiratory rate, the breathing rate, the level of secretion using the pre sanctioning basic vitals to do an assessment on that. Harry, can you just take a deep breath for me to help to oxygenate your lungs? Is that okay? <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, I'll put on the suction machine, like I said. I'm going to go ahead to put my gloves. Sorry, I'll do my hand hygiene again. Now I'll put my glove. It's a non-touch technique. I'll, I have a sterile dish here with sterile water irrigation. Which my I have the tube. validated already. I'm going to connect this to the suction bottle canister and I'm going to connect, I'll open this in a non such technique, making sure I do not contaminate the tip or allow it to touch my surroundings. I will connect the end of the tube to the suction catheter this way and i have this valve and this is where to control the suction pressure from i will use my dominant hand to control the tube taking caution and being careful that it does not contaminate or anywhere and i will use this to control the suction i'm going to lubricate the catheter tip okay I will ensure the suction pressure is set at 150, 100 to 150 millimeter of mercury. And mostly if it is a portable one, it will be set at 12 to 20 kPa. Okay, 
after lubricating the thing, can you inhale for me, Harry? While I'm going in with the tea, with the catheter, my hand or tongue should be off the pressure. The pressure should not be applied, okay? I go in gently and as I rotate the catheter to go in into the nasal passage, I'm going to stop at the point of cough reflex or if I meet with any resistance. And if I meet with any resistance, I notice any form of distress, I'm going to withdraw, I'm going to stop, withdraw the catheter by one centimeter before I apply the suction. So once the catheter is in the passage, I can apply the intermittent suctioning by putting my non-dominant thumb on the spots. Once I cover the spots, there will be suction pressure and I will suction for maximum of 10 seconds as I rotate it gently, carefully, not to cause any trauma or damage to the mucosa airway. Within 10 seconds, I'm going to withdraw and I'm going to cleanse the suction tube. If I need to do a repeat, I give, I will verbalize, I will give a rest of 30 seconds to one minute to allow reoxygenation before doing the second repeat. And for each of the suctioning, I need to cleanse the catheter again before I do a repeat suctioning. So once I'm done with that, I will make sure all my instruments, the tube is discarded in the clinical waste. I'm going to put off my suctioning machine Discard this in the clinical waste. Remove my apron. This goes in the clinical waste. I will verbalize that all the materials will be clean and make ready for the next use. I will quickly do my hand hygiene again. Following all the steps. I will do a reassessment on Harry to ensure for his safety comfort, the oxygenation level, the breathing rate, and to be sure he's not in any distress. I will clean his mouth and make him comfortable. And that is all we have for you. I will do my final hand hygiene. Are you okay, Harry? Yes, nurse. Are you comfortable? Yes, I feel a lot better now. Oh, can you breathe better? Yes, better. I've done an assessment on you and I can see you are not in distress. I can see you are comfortable. This is the call bell. In case you need anything, just press the bell and I'll be right back. I'll be leaving you for now. Is that okay? Thank you. Nurse. And I'll document that what I did, the sanctuary, the time, and my signature. I will do my final hand hygiene and make sure all the instruments are made ready for the next use. And that's all we have for you as regards the nasopharyngeal sanctioning. I posted the link. The link will give you a vivid demonstration of how to set your suctioning pressure but basically this is what you're expected to do as regards the skill wishing you all the best thank you for watching and bye for now